side, dear boy. Mm -hmm. Spear fishing, spear fishing is a adventure at times, you know, people. Yes, my people, a long time we don't come at a spot, you know? Yeah. Long time we don't come at a spot, yeah. From the year start, you don't come here, so no joke. From the, the place so open up back, we don't come to die, bro, and so none at all. We're there, the food spot, you know, one of the food spot. This popular spot for about, we say about a year now. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't check in around here, you know? So, me and Ken are there, this man, now he's sat there. Place over cast a little bit, sun no come out. Most place I the sun over there, so but wind up on the wind up on the water, my people. So you make it shake, you know. But however, that area we mention it a lot of times, so that spot here, you see, if you come with time before we get good visibility, or so. yeah, man. And you see, it come for a couple of days, well, you know. He came for a couple of days well, but yesterday, yesterday last night, if you said the wind, some rain fall and the place story up back. High wind, yeah. But um, it look like the current in our favor, it look like the current that go up sea. So if the current that go up sea, now only pass sun not down that side. But here, so now I want to be around here, so and a lot of sun, more at least. So if the current that go down the sea. We no problem, but if it a go up, we we'll probably get a little bit of visibility or so. But we are hope for the best still. Yeah, man, we're there. Suit up already and we we'll go jump out, you know. The northwest weather was on the sea, so the water was sandy bad. This was my first dive on this fish. It's a species of parrotfish. I spear it, but it tore off the line. The water was bouncy bad as well. I was seeing a lot of red bellies and gold tail in this dive, so I seized the opportunity to spear a few. I was heading for one, and the line tangled around my knife. This was the second fish I spear, a gold tail. And this one also escaped as well. I saw an next huge gold tail here. You can see it peep around the rock. It moved in the open. I took a shot but I missed. And the water was dirty from top to bottom. But regardless though, we still hunt. This was a nice gold tail. I could have speared this one, 
but I was skeptic with the spear gun. I let quite a few of them pass. You know, the spear a lovely mangrove snapper. That was the first fish for him. Here's our next lovely gold tail. I could have taken this one as well. I was waiting to see it move in the open, but it stayed close to the rocks. I saw a nice gold tail and a red belly here so I decide that I'm going to take the red belly because it seems a little bit bigger Regardless of the weather, we were seeing some fish, so this was a nice mackerel. I add this one to the string as well, it's about a two pounder. I got that one on the buoy and tried to see if I could spear something else. I sneak down on these mutton snapper. I almost got one. So this was a huge snapper. I made a dive on was moving fast I couldn't get a good aim I dive here for a neck snapper but while I was at the bottom these two red belly was there looking at me two huge one but again the rock was in the background so I couldn't take the shot after letting all of the gold tail pass I finally speared one and all of them was on this size but this one gave me a good shot so I took it I spear a grunt and the spear stuck and this is when I was heading back for land. This was the last fish. Kenada was already back on land. I saw him cleaning his fish so I head for land as well.
My people, so we jump out of the water, you know, and see the catcher. This is my catcher, so four fish, one grunt, a red belly. We got a gold tail, so we can see, and this is the red belly, and also the mackerel. Two, 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 four mackerel, you know. This is a cover this. Nice man. I fish. I look for my you know. That's a good catch. But I'm going to tell you the water is in no condition. The water is dirty, bad. See, bones it up. But here it says it's a good area still. So, we know so we will find fish as well. We get one beast and catch the you know? Good here at this fit for the spirit. Alright my people, so my camera match is dead at the, the seaside. You know? So we just I get to finish up show you guys what go on, you know? Yeah man, so all the catches at home and you know me I do a look steam pan them. Probably in two, yeah. Red belly and the green. Probably two in this too. I don't know. Put the mackerel up on the fridge. So, from what day we eat the big mackerel because they cook up and they plan to do with the mackerel. They never come true. So, we have to eat the mackerel, you know. So, we have these. We don't know a good catch. You know. We do a look cook up and you know? So, go and watch. Put a couple slices in them. Of them in a pudding pan, yeah. Most Jamaican must know that pan, yeah. You know? Call it pudding pan. And why? Because I wanna they, they even know about pudding. People love big pudding in a them pan, yeah. Most the same name come from. Yeah, so I have two nice fish, I Try a thing with them in a the evening, yeah. So I go on, you know. So the idea is to fry them. Burn some curry and then put them back in the curry and do a nice cook up there with them fish, you know. We would have plan for steam, but the grunt, the grunt is not a steam type of fish. The, the grunt spoil the idea. Yeah, man. So that's how we go on. So we have them seasoned up already, you know. Yeah. I'll well at you now, so we we'll put in, it look like you only can probably two fish. Nice dinner size fish for now. Nice gun to red belly and gold to you know. Red belly not so big. Good size pot so you guys can see the size, you know. Two nice fish. Make these fry first, then the red belly. I'm going to turn it now for the first. Fish them fry, you know, you know, looking nice in this. So, I go burn the curry, you know, you know, yeah, man.
so I like to miss small gun in my teeth. When you have a big gun, you can't shoot them off the side. So I'm going to make a shoot to it. But the big gun, you know, difficult. You can't shoot them, you know, but it's difficult, you know. I have to mind how you have fire in a rock and then sit me down. When you do shoot, the time it will take to, to set back the gun and re rock the fish. You want a half pound or one, one, one pound fish. Why you want to stand to me in a real thing? But you know, you set up back the small gun to see me along with the big gun, you know? So I should have to pour them. So when we go have a day like today when we meet and see these type of fish, we can see some of them. And when big fish are on the sea, big fish. Mm -hmm. You feel good in a pot, yeah, man. Good, you know? Looking real good, man. Looking real good, my people. Soon do you know still? You know? Look at rice on the side over there, so. And me have a grunt just so, you know? So I might do this. You understand? Yeah, so I never see what I'm going for this here now. Yeah man, so give thanks once more, alright? Yeah man, thanks for watching. Yeah man, and remember to leave the likes. Like up the video, alright? Yeah man, so see you guys in the next one, alright?